You'd be amazed at the things we human beings can manage to stick in our bodies, oftentimes without even knowing. Whether it's a three-inch nail through the brain, a full set of cutlery in the stomach, or even a fully loaded gun in the uh, <clears throat> nether regions, doctors are pulling bizarre items out of us every single day. And the craziest part is, we're surviving. This kind of stuff happens so often that doctors even have a name for things they find in our bodies that aren't supposed to be there. They call them foreign objects, probably because they are things that originate from outside of us. And also, they probably don't speak the local language, also known as body language. <laughs> okay, moving on. Foreign objects find their way into the body in a variety of ways, typically through orifices like the eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. As such, they tend to end up lodged in our heads, or stomachs via swallowing, or rectums via... Uh... Well, we'd rather not get into that one. Foreign objects are either put into our bodies intentionally, like a kid putting a crayon up their nose, or unintentionally, like an adult pulling the crayon out of their kid's nose, but then tripping and accidentally shoving it up their own. Oh, and speaking of children, seriously, please, keep an eye on your kids. For some reason, they just love putting things in places that don't belong. Which is why every single kid's toy you see has a don't let your kid shove this in their ear warning. Thank you, lawyers. Also, be careful leaving your kids around money. Not only because they're irresponsible spenders and investors, but also because they are little kleptomaniacs. That's right, the number one most swallowed item by kids is coins. Now, just because there's a foreign object in your body doesn't necessarily mean you need to start freaking out. Sometimes they are inert or benign, meaning they don't seem to cause any problems. In cases like this, doctors may choose to leave them inside of you, since performing surgery to get them out might actually cause more harm than good. However, most foreign objects tend to be irritating, causing inflammation and scarring in the body. They're also potentially infectious, bringing contaminants from the outside world past our natural defenses and into our internal workings. In cases like these, it's best to get them removed. So how you remove these objects kind of depends on what kind of mess you've gotten yourself into in the first place. The old crayon on the nose? A firm tug might get it out no problem. A metal ball bearing in your lung? A combination of magnets and a bronchoscope which is a thin microscope that helps doctors see what's really going on in your airways. Really, treatment depends on where the object is, the danger it possesses to the surrounding area, and how delicate the removal needs to be. Although there's the common theme of this thing that shouldn't be in a body is in a body, each case is truly unique. Don't believe us? Take a look at some of these real-life examples. In 2012, a man named Daniel Autulo accidentally shot himself in the head with a nail gun. Thinking he'd just grazed himself, he cleaned up the wound and then got back to work, did some snow plowing, and went to sleep. It was only when he woke up feeling nauseous that he finally agreed to go to the hospital, where doctors discovered a three and a quarter inch nail in his brain. Since the brain doesn't have any pain receptors within it, Autulo couldn't feel it at all. Miraculously, he lost absolutely no brain function and doctors were able to pull the nail out, along with a piece of his skull. Accidents we can understand, but sometimes people choose to put bizarre things in their bodies. A 62-year-old French psychiatric patient apparently never got that childish coin-eating phase out of his system, as he was found with 350 coins, a bunch of necklaces, needles, and more inside of his stomach. The total collection weighed so much that it had actually pushed his stomach down to his hips. Can you imagine the look on the surgeon's faces when they discovered the secret treasure trove? If those stories have you biting your nails, you might want to stop because a 16-year-old Russian teen underwent an emergency surgery after experiencing intense stomach pain, only for doctors to discover a fur ball in her stomach weighing over one pound. The teen had been chewing on her hair for 10 years, but since our bodies lack the ability to digest nails and hair, it just kept accumulating in her stomach. Of course, it's not always the patient that's responsible for getting things stuck in their own body. No, no, no. Sometimes it's the hospital's fault. In Canada alone, more than 550 objects like clips, sponges, and scissors were left unintentionally behind in Canadian patients' bodies between 2016 and 2018. And according to those numbers, the problem is only getting worse. Imagine going in to get a nail removed from your brain, only to leave with a pair of scissors in your lungs. Since in this case, you'll likely be under anesthesia all you can really do is hope for the best. And maybe get your surgeon to picky promise to be extra careful. All in all, foreign objects in the body are highly survivable, providing they are not obstructing an airway. If whatever's embedded in you is toxic, like certain metals, that can be a problem. But provided you get to a medical professional promptly, you should be fine. For more info on foreign object survival techniques, subscribe to us here at Brainiac. There you can find out more about case-specific information on what to do if a spider lays eggs in your ear or if you find a parasite in your stomach. Until next time, Brainiacs.